23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. California's governor says most of the state's schools will likely remain closed for the rest of the school year because of the new coronavirus. The governor, Gavin Newsom, said during a press conference today that nearly all the state schools have already shut down as the most populous state tries to stop the spread of the virus and the rest will soon. He says there are more than 6 million children out of school. The state has applied for a federal waiver that means children would not have to face academic tests once they eventually return to school. 23 ABC reached out to the Kern County Superintendent of Schools in response to Governor Newsom's statement. Officials sent a statement saying in part, quote, KCSOS's leadership team and Kern's 47 school district superintendents are meeting daily through Zoom, video conferencing, and problem solving in real time. We're learning from one another, adjusting plans daily, and we'll be ready for any eventual, eventual in, uh, eventuality, I should say, including school closures well into May. We hope it does not come to that, but we will be prepared if our public health partners advise that school closures should be extended as we move forward. The Kern Complete Count Committee is urging the residents of Kern to continue to shelter in place and to maintain social distancing to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. They said a complete and accurate count is the most practical way to ensure our community receives its fair share of resources and political representation. They said answering the census in a timely manner online, by mail or by phone, can go a long way to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 so that census interviewers do not have to visit homes to collect data. And temperatures are going to be well below average for your Wednesday and still in those low 60s on Thursday, the first day of spring, tracking the chance for some isolated thunderstorms to be rolling through. But then our latest low pressure system will be clearing out of the region. So Friday, those temperatures rebounding to the upper 60s, reaching the low 70s by Saturday and Sunday. And yet another storm system will be moving through, bringing the best chance for showers on Monday and Tuesday with those lingering showers on Wednesday and warming right back up by the end of next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.